Hello viewers. Today we have a Lakewood S223 and a Lakewood P223. Those of you who follow the channel uh, may notice the Lakewood on the left is a newly acquired one uh, as of this recording uh, just this past weekend, $8 marketplace find, which is pretty cool. And I, th I did a recent video as well with another one I have just like it to kind of compare performance, you know, based on the life of it and the life it lived, you know, if they're still performing at a, a comparable level, and they seem to be. So I, I brought out the um, P223, which is kind of like, if you really put up a poster of Lakewood, if you look Lakewood up in the dictionary, you see the P223. Yeah, the P23, the p 223 first gen, all that, you know, amazing fans, awesome fans, even a third gen. But really, I feel, at least in my time growing up, the 223 here, second gen, is like, it was everywhere, 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 everywhere. And I can't say this enough, it's a tribute to Lakewood that these things are still plentiful today. I mean, just look at eBay, there's tons of them out there. And most people don't really um, service fans like we do as collectors. You know, they run them. They might wipe them down, clean them, but they don't think to oil them. And they just they just run. They just run. They're found at estate sales or maybe an elder, elderly person got their hands on one. And, and they just run on and on and on. Now, the S, if you will, as I've said in other videos on, on these fans, when I just glance at them, they don't look like Lakewood to me. Yes, the blades do, the handle switch, I get it. But just, I'm so used to seeing the rounded cabinets. And I know when Lasco went to like a rounded cabinet in the 90s, like mid, late 90s, I, I, I remember thinking to myself at that time, oh, they're trying to copy Lakewood. They're trying to have rounded cabinets like Lakewood. No, this is... Lakewood always had this and um, it's awesome. So I thought I'd do a quick comparison and I don't have my meter handy with me at this location. Um, I know I, I've talked about it in several other videos. I gotta pull that out uh, because when I do use it, uh, people like to see that information. So I just thought we'd do a quick, kind of more of a visual comparison of the two. And what I've noticed is the coloring is slightly off, not off, but different. Peach versus more of a tan. And when I have, actually I should turn those overhead lights on. When I have those overhead lights on, when I first put it up there earlier, it almost gave off like a pinkish, which would make sense because when I've seen these listed, sometimes people will write pink Lakewood box fan and I'm like, it's not pink, but I get it. So really, the cabinet, unless someone can tell me about the motor, is everything's the same. The, I'm just trying to, well, let's see. Over here, it looks a little tanner. These look white, tan and white. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, this might be like a later gen, second gen, if that makes any sense. Just because um, the hub, the center of the hub doesn't have the opening like the older one does. And I think these were just like kind of the end before they went to the third gen. The um, label's a different color. I wanna say even though these are comparable, like they're each their respective second gen, I believe, I feel like this one is older. Not because of the shape, but just because of like, just because of the style of the label. But still very cool. Very reliable, awesome fan. So let's let's turn them on, we'll do low. I recently serviced the Lakewood on the right. I think I just did it for fun. Uh, like, not that I keep it in service or anything right now, but I just uh, wanted to have an afternoon, it was a nice afternoon, and I took it outside on a bench and I just uh, took it apart and serviced it. This rattles a little bit, I believe it's just a guard that's rattling. Yes, the guard. So I just touch the guard, it stops. 
So both um, really look the same, although the pattern of the hub on the left looks a little, well, they look different from each other. And I think, and I should get out a tape measure, but I don't have a tape measure. I think the S is slightly by a hair taller. Yeah, and I'm trying to look at the screw, the screw hole, this is a little, a little higher. So medium. To me, like this is what the, the hobby is about, these these old fans like this. Yeah, it's fun, you know, to mess around with some of the newer Lascos with the cool colors and we've done videos on those and that's that's great and all, but really I get more excited with these just because these are the best. They just don't make them like this in terms of reliability. Yeah, you can take care of a Lasco 3733, but in all likelihood, a Lasco 3733 may, may cancel itself out because it falls over. And while they seem to be pretty reliable, they're fragile. And most people don't know what to do with a busted blade on a 3733. Outside of us in, in the hobby, just your average consumer, you know, it goes right to the dump and that's where people like us find it. I think one of the followers to the channel said to me, they have dozens of 3733s because they find them everywhere and they just fix them. And I think that's a very noble thing to do so they don't end up in a landfill. And I just don't know where 3733s will be 40 years from now, 50 years from now. If somebody will be doing a video on 2024 Lasco 3733s uh, and, and think there's something special, it'll be interesting to see. But I obviously can wait that long. <laughs> So they both have the oil ports. They're the exact same motors. You guys are the experts on the motors and what, what changed when and what, but from the eye test and the ear test, they're the same. Definitely gets me very nostalgic when I work with these fans. And I'm just proud to say, well, I'm not an old man, I was, I'm definitely old enough that, again, those were in windows everywhere. Like just seeing this on a hot summer day, it, riding in the back seat of my parents' car, that's what it was about. And for the fellow collectors, you probably do the same thing I did back in the day is, you know, when you're driving around, you're, you're looking at houses because you're looking at what's sticking in the window. So what do you think? Which which model do you prefer? The classic textbook definition of a liquid <laughs> or the boxy big man over here, the S223? What's your preference? It's tough. <laughs> Again, I think a liquid when I see that. I, I still think of liquid, but you know, I think of liquid in a different cabinet, but um, awesome to pop one of these in a the window. They just don't, when you stick them in the window, they do not budge. You can get them in there snug, where the new Lasco 3733s or whatever, the Holmes, all those, you have to manipulate them in the window to get them to stay. Sometimes you gotta jam something in there. In one of my windows, I used to um, take a like eye hook on either side into the into the stud on the outside of the window on either side and take a thin bungee and just use that as a brace to hold it in. 
I don't need to do that with these. These are locked in. So let me know in the comments what you think. Like, subscribe. Uh, if you like Lakewoods, there's plenty on this channel. If you like box fans, there's tons on this channel. And there will be more coming. Uh, but really curious about what you think of these two. Um, and uh, we'll hopefully we'll see you on the next one. But as always, we'll leave you with them running.